be. Ah, oh, that's Guthrie, a mate of Tyson's. of the great Arkell has a national hunt horse captured the public imagination like the one you've just been looking at, Galactic Prince. Already at the age of only eight, the winner of more than £60,000 in prize money. Unbeaten in his last seven outings and a hot favourite to win tomorrow's Argus Gold Cup for the second year running. Well, can Galactic Prince do it? One man who may have the answer is big race jockey, Frankie Tyson. Frankie, a lot of viewers out there have their money on Prince tomorrow. Can you repay their confidence in him? Well, I'd, I'd just like to say that he's been going magnificent all week, Simon, just magnificent. You think he'll stretch his unbeaten run to eight? Well, no doubt about it in my mind, Simon. Thank you. We understand that Prince's trainer, Bill Otterby, had a serious accident last week. He's recovering in hospital and he missed the big race. That's right, Simon, yes. Well, have you anything to say to Mr. Otterby? Well, <laughs> on behalf of all the people at the stables, we'd like to wish him a speedy recovery and we hope that we watch him Galactic Prince win for him tomorrow. Thank you. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, I'd like to wring his rotten neck. Look, I still think we ought to go to the police. And tell them what? That we think Prince is going to be doped. That we suspect Tyson's going to try and lose the race. Tyson asked you to dope him. But you need witnesses for that low proof. If Prince romps home a ten-length winner tomorrow, we're not going to look very good, are we? Frankly, I'm prepared to risk that. Melanie, if we go to the cops now with our allegations against Tyson and nothing happens tomorrow, you don't think he'll leave it at that, do you? Well, me? Going to a chemist and ask for air dye? I look a right pull. Would you keep your voice down and get a move on? Would you have seen McGovern this evening? It was your idea, mate. You do it. Look, I'll be seeing Prince get some exercise, will I? Prince? Look. We'd better cover ourselves a bit. Say the switch goes wrong, and we end up running Prince. Well, I'd better see you get some heavy work out tonight, and I. Had you? Look, mate, I'm just out to make sure that if Prince goes tomorrow, he'll be so knackered he won't be able to get past the canter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Now get going. I'll see ya. Oh, it's half past three. I'd better be off to the hospital if I want to catch visiting time. Here. I get no card from Mr. Otterby. Keep an eye on Prince while I'm out. Look, are you sure we can't tell him what's going on? No, we can't. And that's final. Are you busy, love? Why? Is there something you want me to do? Yeah, it's like this. You see, Prince needs a workout, and I was wondering if you're up to riding him. A workout? You when he's racing tomorrow? Oh, yeah, yeah. Some horses, they need a lot of work to keep them on their toes, you know what I mean? Of course, if you're scared, you can't manage him, then... Oh, I don't know what gave you that impression. Well, that's my girl. Well, well give him a nice long workout now, remember. Oh, well, what shall I do with him? Oh, you must do what you like with him, love. I I've got to go now. I've got something to do. <laughs> Do you get the stuff? Yeah. Saw so the girl on the gallops just now, riding Prince flat out. What's your game, Frankie? Killing two birds with one stone, mate. That's my game. You want to see?
Hey, stop! Come here! Come here, girl. What the hell are you playing at? That horse has got a race tomorrow. You told me to give him a workout! A workout? Maybe I told you to take him for some exercise, but I sure, sure didn't tell you to take him flat out down the gallops. Now get off, come you on! You told me to give him a workout! But if I've done wrong, it's your stupid fault for not giving me proper instructions! I don't know what you're... You should need instructions! It's like I've said all along, Lovery. You're not fit to work in the stables like this. Now get off, come on! You set this up, haven't you? I don't know what you're talking about, lady. All I do know is, if this horse loses tomorrow, it'll be down to you. Now get off, come on! All right, all right! you, mate, if you're Melanie Webb's uncle. Well, has something happened to her? <laughs> that girl, she's only gone and ruined our best horse, that's all. Now, see here, Mr. Turner, or whatever your name is, that stupid niece of yours shouldn't be allowed within a mile of a decent stables. Oh, look, I don't know what she's done, but I've no doubt it wasn't her fault. Well, I'll tell you something else, I'm not having her working at a place where they insult her. This fella seems to think we shouldn't be working here. Well, let's accommodate him, shall we? It's not up to him. I work for Mr. Otterby. Melanie, I don't want you working here. Uncle Doc, I've got to stay here. Why? Please, please go away. I'll explain later. Please. All right. I'll see you back at home. See me. Yeah. Well, well, me and Mike, we were just thinking. What? We want something in advance. Don't you trust me? What? Not trust Archie McGovern? <laughs> that pillar of bookmaking society. Half a grand. Five hundred? You must be joking. No. Nothing till I see you've got the girl's horse. Perfect going we'll have tomorrow. Just right for Prince. On this going, he should romp home. I was just saying to myself only this morning, that poor Mr. McGovern. He's going to have to pay out thousands to his clients when Galactic Prince romps home. Wait. Did you want to tell us something, Mr. McGovern? Wait a minute, we'll talk about it. from this, and the stuff to do the job. Shampoo, breathless, colour, excitement your hair. We've put that back. All right. Now do you believe we can carry it off? Yeah. I'll give me 250. No, half a grand. Hey, watch it. Mr. Guffrey, eh? He's decided to go blonde. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with you? You got nothing to do? I've got plenty to do, thanks. Like keeping an eye on Prince. Oh, yes, son, and why is that? You know blooming well what I mean. 
You just remember, Tyson. I'm onto your game. I don't know what you're talking about, son. And it's Mr. Tyson to you. All right, Mr. Tyson. I don't know what funny things you've got planned for Saturday, but the future of this stable depends on Prince. Is that right? Then. Thought I'd leave him out overnight. You're still getting neurotic about his mane. I tell you, he caught it on a nail. So he'd better not go back into his box till I found it. Otherwise, he could injure himself. Three jacks. No, nah, straight. No. Oh. Come on, let's go. And put that out. Yeah. Oh, you. Pick it up. Come on, let's go. Yeah, come on, boy. Come on, son. Come along with your nice Uncle Frankie. He's going to take you to the hairdresser. You're still looking for needles and syringes? Hey, I'll do that. You know the others. Right. Oh, no, uh, Miss Webb. What? You had to find my car. There's no room in yours, boxes. <laughs> well, can't I travel in the back with the horses? What's the matter? Scared? Well, I've got to see Orbit before I go. Well, that's all right, Miss. That's all been taken care of. Your orbit. Now, come on, you open us all up. Come on, I said you was open us all up. Shark leading, showing just ahead of Big Promise. 
Evans. Back there? On the road to the races was back there. This isn't the way to the racetrack. It takes us in the other direction. Where are you taking me? What are you doing here? Look, calm down, look, and get your breath back. I think they've taken Orbit. Oh, no. Well, Orbit doesn't know the first thing about hurdle racing. Well, he's bound to fall. He'll break a leg. Oh, and it'll be curtains for Mr. Otterby if Prince doesn't win. Oh, oh come on. What are we going to do? We'll drive Prince to the race, and you're going to ride him in it. Well, come on. But only about two lengths now from Gypsy Star, who's going beautifully in second place. The sharp Kempton course really suits Gypsy Star. Approaching the ninth hurdle, Bob Joe from Gypsy Star, big promise, making ground to go past White Shark into third place. And as they go over the next, the order stays the same. Top Joe from Gypsy Star.
I can. Steady, steady. Good boy. Shocks galore here this afternoon at Kempton Park when it was revealed that an attempt had been made to foil odds on favourite Galactic Prince's bid to win the Argus Gold Cup by replacing him with a ringer. And then, only minutes before the race, well known jockey Frank Tyson was sensationally arrested just yards from where I'm standing here by the winning post. It all ended happily enough though when Galactic Prince, superbly handled by last minute replacement John Masson, stormed through in the final furlong to win by half a length and gain a popular success for his trainer Bill Otterby, who's still recovering in hospital from a recent accident.